Are you ready to canoe down Colorado's biggest and most prolific river? If so, let me give you a quick tour. And welcome to the Colorado River, one of our most scenic and popular trips. Hi, I'm Marty at Centennial Canoe. We offer three different sections of the Colorado River. In this video, we'll be focusing on the Ruby Horse Thief section that begins 19 miles west of Grand Junction, Colorado, at a place called the Loma Boat Launch. Your trip will conclude four miles over the Utah state line called the Westwater Ranger Station. Earlier I called the Colorado River prolific. That's because it stretches 1,450 miles and provides water for nearly 40 million people along the way. I should also mention that it drops one mile in elevation from high in the Rocky Mountains to the Gulf of California. That helps explain the monster rapids it creates as it cuts through the Grand Canyon, for example. Don't worry, the 26 mile section that you'll be canoeing is very flat and ideal for first time paddlers. You'll be paddling 26 miles over a two or three day period depending on the trip length that you choose. Starting in 2013, the Colorado River will be implementing a reserve camping policy so your campsite will be secured before you get there. All of this has been taken care of beforehand and your guides know exactly where the campsites are. Four popular camping areas are the Cottonwoods, Mee Canyon, Black Rocks, and Knowles Canyon. Getting to these gorgeous areas on the river involves paddling past a variety of geologic formations that rise high above the river like stone skyscrapers. The most prominent geologic formations include the Morrison, Entrada, Kianta, Wingate, and Chin Lee formations. The Colorado River habitat is located in what referred to as high country desert, where the air is warm and dry. Spring and fall temperatures range in the 70s to 80s, and summer temperatures range in the 80s to 90s, with a 30 degree temperature drop at night. Keep your eyes open for abundant wildlife that includes blue herons, eagles, and desert sheep. One of the many highlights of this river section is an area called Black Rocks. You'll understand why when you paddle past the two billion year old black rock formations sculpted by the abrasive cutting action of the river over millions of years. If you're feeling energetic and time permitting, your guides might stop at McDonald Amphitheater. This gigantic hollowed out dome was once used by the ancients as a sacred place with the evidence of a pictograph high upon the rim rock. In the final two miles before the takeout at Westwater Ranger Station, you'll paddle past what we call Eagle Alley. On the left side of the river, huge cottonwood trees line the river and eagle nests are commonly found there so be ready with your camera. The Colorado River provides a fun and unforgettable backcountry experience and it's an ideal introduction to canoeing two, and camping. Three, I hope this four, gives you a peek into the Colorado five, River. Feel free to call our office with questions at 720-283-0553 or toll free at 877-353-1850.